If you have orthostatic hypotension, is it dangerous? In this video, you're gonna find out. My name is Dr. Story. I've been a chiropractor for over 23 years. I'm gonna give you realistic advice based on my experience. The answer is yes, orthostatic hypotension is very dangerous. And the reason why is because you can end up fainting and falling, breaking the hip, or breaking your face. I've had patients in my office, when they're lying down on the table, come up, and sometimes if they come up too quickly, they start getting dizzy and wham, they go down. That's actually dangerous. So very, we're very often careful, especially with the elderly, older population, where when they come up, we have them sit, we hold on to them, let them catch their bearings, and then when they stand up, you want to just have your hand on their shoulder in case they, they get dizzy or feeling faint. So the things that you can do to prevent this from happening is stay hydrated and if you are losing blood, if you're a female that's on their period or you have anemia, to get those things uh, handled and make sure primarily that you're hydrated. If you're taking medications that are artificially lowering your blood pressure, then you need to be very, very careful when you go from a, a lying down to standing up position because normally your blood pressure should go up, but in orthostatic hypotension, the blood pressure drops. Orthostatic hypotension is where the systolic number would be over 20 millimeters of mercury lower when you're standing up and 10 millimeters lower uh, on the diastolic or one or the other. Either way, you're gonna feel faint and you're, you may fall. And when you fall, you could break a bone, you could break a hip, you could hit your head. There's a lot of bad things. So orthostatic hypotension is considered dangerous. If you thought this video was interesting, give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button. If you've ever had orthostatic orthostatic hypotension, let us know in the comments section and let us know what you did about it. Share this on social media like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter because many people don't know about this condition.